The IAEA six-year general conference has come to an end. Delegates from 155 countries came here to the agency's headquarters in Vienna, Austria, to discuss nuclear issues. In his opening statement, Director General Yuki Yamano said the agency has achieved a lot in the past six decades. We have made a real difference to the lives of millions of people throughout the world. We have also made a unique contribution to international peace and security. The General Conference is the annual gathering of the IAEA's member states. Since this was the 60th conference, this special date was marked with a reception in the Hofburg Palace. Let us take a brief pause from our daily work and celebrate the great achievements of the IAEA since the first Dell Conference held 60 years ago. 600 guests were invited to commemorate the anniversary, exchange ideas and meet counterparts from around the world. Then it's always a pleasure meeting again all the colleagues, meeting other regulators from the world, other delegations, and it's the best. Throughout the week, events and exhibitions display the many peaceful uses of nuclear technology. The main side event was the two-day scientific forum, focusing this year on the Sustainable Development Goals, and attended by Prince Albert II of Monaco. Well, the main focus of my, of my statement was, uh, of course, to uh, express uh, uh, our, our gratitude, the, the gratitude of the Principality of Monaco toward the IAEA for the long-standing relationship that we have with the agency. The Prince is a dedicated advocate for environmental protection. During his trip to Austria, he found time for a tour of the IAEA's nuclear application laboratories in Seibersdorf. Here, scientists explain their work in the fields of pest control, soil and water management and environmental protection. It's been a busy and eventful week for the 2,500 participants to this conference and IAEA staff. For them, it goes back to normal on Monday. From Vienna, Austria, this is Alexandra Anapanich reporting for the IAEA.